Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thanks again for our time together. I want us to go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 today. Sometimes we forget that there's a difference in the message that is presented to the unsaved of this world and the message that is presented to the saints of this world. Now when it comes to the unsaved, we have one message, the gospel, the message of the cross. We don't preach the rapture to the unsaved. We don't preach speaking in tongues to the unsaved. We don't preach the, the kingdom of heaven to the unsaved that's coming in its glory in the new Jerusalem and all of that. We, we just keep it really simple. And to the unsaved of this world, we have one message, the message of the gospel. We have one message, the message of the cross. But now to the saints, to those of us that are already born again, Paul says we have a different message. Verse 6 of chapter 2. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. Now, brothers and sisters, I want us to notice that when we come to God's house, there is wisdom that needs to be spoken. There is, is heavier teaching that needs to be spoken. But it is not the wisdom of this world. And too often in the church world today, you, you, you listen to the world's wisdom presented in church. Now, please forgive me. It's not that the world's wisdom is evil. It's, it's just kind of neutral. But it's the world's wisdom. And forgive me, it has no place in the church. There's so much that I see today where people don't want the Bible anymore or they take one or two verses and put it over the world's wisdom. They, they see something in a Reader's Digest. They see something in a business book. They know a business principle. They know a life principle. Uh, they know a life coaching principle. And they take that principle and then add a few scriptures to it to validate the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of God does not flow from this world. The wisdom of God flows from God. We don't need to, to take the wisdom of this world and then proof text a few thoughts from God on it and add one or two verses and act like it came from God. Everything that should be taught to God's people should not come from the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age. Forgive me, I should not stand up and teach you Bill Gates. I should not stand up and teach you a sermon from uh, Steve Jobs and, and the book I just read on Apple computers by Steve Jobs. I should not teach you uh, wisdom that comes from in, any of the business books or philosophy books. The, the, the people of this age or the rulers of this age. Every piece of wisdom that should be taught to God's people should flow from God. It should flow from the scripture. Now this is why Paul teaches us down in verse 13. This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, expressing spiritual truths in spiritual words. Expressing spiritual truths in spiritual words. Now, when we're out among the unsaved in the world, we just share the gospel. We keep it simple, saints, as I taught you yesterday. When we're in God's house, Everything we teach should flow from the scriptures. In all of your life, you've never heard me quote a philosopher of this world. You've never heard me quote a, a Thomas Jefferson or an Edison or a Steve Jobs or a Bill Gates or a Jack Welch as a validation of a truth. Everything I teach you should be spiritual words and spiritual truths. That's why we don't sing secular songs in church. Paul said psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Everything when we gather among the mature, when we gather among the Christians, should be spiritual truths taught in spiritual words. So yes, there is a wisdom that is taught in God's house, but it can never flow from the wisdom of this world. It also flows from God.